Yo, what is up guys? It's Accept here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the patch 14.17 rundown. I'm sorry I'm a few days late. Um, I've been a bit busy. I've not had as much energy, but that's all right. We're here. We're doing it now. Yeah, let's get straight into it. All right. Champions, Aurora. Our damage decreased. Damage goes from 200 to 175 on rank 1 and then... 450 to rank 375 on rank 3. I mean, it's just a base damage nerf. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. Like, I think the early game nerf matters more than it does later on, I would say. But I would not say that it matters that much. Um, Aurora is still OP, 100%. Alright, Ash, base health down by 30. Um, yeah, I mean, Ash is still a good champion. I don't know what to tell you. Ash right now, together with Emma, for probably the two strongest ADCs. I think Ash still remains one of the stronger ADCs in the game. Alright, Brand, passive damage. Burn damage is now now has a cap at 30 damage per second to monsters. Explos explosion damage now has a cap against monsters of 250, 350, 470, 475 at levels 1, 6, 11, and 16. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, for me... Hard to say. I mean, obviously, it's a nerf. I don't know how big of a nerf it is, to be completely honest. Because I don't know how much, for example, the burn damage is right now. I don't play brand, right? I, I can tell you it's a nerf. Do I think it's a massive nerf? Probably not. Um, But it is a nerf. I'm not sure how big, but yes. Or if it's that relevant at all. Caitlyn, attack speed ratio is going up. And her cooldown on her W is going down. I already think Caitlyn is in a decent spot. The only main thing with Caitlyn right now is that most of her counters, uh, Ash, MF, Sigs, um, Jin is not bad, etc. are all in a decent spot right now. Which means that Caitlyn is going to be in a weak spot, right? Um, but I think otherwise Caitlyn is not that bad of a champion at the moment. Um, but yeah, this buff for sure helps her. Um, do I think it will bring her forward in the meta probably not because well still the champions the counter are still gonna be good for example ash um so that's gonna be one of her struggles but she can be a bit more all right and maybe picked in a few more spots that where she wouldn't be picked before she's already getting picked a little bit in some spots it's just not that common um Esther, base attack damage down by two this is a fairly big nerf i would say um it doesn't look like much most likely but it is quite a lot, usually, like taking out base damage um, from champions like ADCs or, well, whatever else. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big nerf. It's going to mean that he's quite a bit worse in lane, especially in mid lane. Um, in ADC, he's going to work fairly similarly, but even there, he's getting nerfed, right? Alright, Graves, end of the line. Um, Kulan is getting buffed later on. Initial damage is getting buffed later on, and his maximum damage is getting buffed later on. So the nerf or buffing Graves late game uh, base stats. Now Graves is like an interesting champion because Graves is like a champion that, in my opinion, isn't terrible at the moment. But one thing that Graves struggles with is AP champions. He does not want to play into APs, and he doesn't want to play with ADC mid lanes. Which, right now, is what's been meta up until this point of the season. But it's now getting nerfed. Um, so yeah, with other AP youngers getting nerfed at the moment. And Graves getting buffed. It, and also champions like Estral, Corky, etc. getting nerfed repeatedly. It does mean that Graves could potentially come back to the meta. Alright, Katarina. Bouncing Q. Damage has been nerfed later on in the game. This is mainly to, I would assume prevent her poke build that people have been doing with every sudden impact um, and Qmax. Do I think it guts the build completely? Well, I mean, it's still probably going to be good in the early game, but I don't think it changes much about the champion, is what I would say. Um, Alright, Cannon. Magic damage is nerfed by 10% AP scaling later on. Um, yeah, I think Cannon is a weird champion, because I'm not convinced Cannon is a good champion. Um... Yeah, I think he's a good blind pick champion, and I mean, if you're gonna play, like, 
a carry top laner blind, he's probably the best, but I just don't think you should play carry top laners blind. And uh, at the moment, I think, up until this point, AP Youngers have been really strong anyways, so I don't see the reason why you would want to pick Kennen with an AP jungler, with an engage support as well for that matter, it just increases Merc's value. I think Kennen is, in my opinion, not that great of a champion. Um, seeing him nerfed makes sense because a lot of people are playing him, but I don't think he should be being played as much as he is. And in my opinion, like, I think he's a good laner, and that's about it. And I think later on in team fights he falls off a bit. He's not super weak, that's not what I'm saying. He's still a, like, decent team fighting champions because his ult is just OP in team fights. Um, but I just think with the current meta going on, He's not great for it, and I do think there are ways to counter him as well. Alright, Kindred. Now, Kindred buffs, similar to Graves buffs, does mean that this champion could potentially come back into the meta. So, AP Youngers get nerfed, AD mid laners get nerfed, um, AP mid laners get buffed, Kindred Graves get buffed, it's gonna be Kindred Graves meta. Um, so, 30-35% to 35 attack speed on Q, it's a decent buff, and then damage on her E is buffed later on, and the cooldown on her E buffed later on as well. So similarly, it's buffed a bit later on in the game, her Q attack speed, I mean it matters, it doesn't matter a hell of a lot, but it does do some difference to both her clear and early skirmishes. Um, yeah, I think this is in general, I would say, a pretty good change for Kindred, similarly to Graves. Um, Alright, LeBlanc, Q damage decrease, W damage decrease, so this is the big imposter kinda compared to the ADC mid laners, because LeBlanc has been good ever since the sudden impact changes kinda. Um, LeBlanc is not in a bad spot, uh, she's probably the, have been, has been the best AP mid laner except for maybe Huey. Um So yeah. Um, anyways, 5% AP on her Q nerf, that doesn't matter too much, and the same thing with her W. Um, I would say still say that LeBlanc is going to be a good champion, especially with champions like Kindred and Graves getting buffed. It just means LeBlanc is a stronger champion because she really likes playing with champions like Kindred and Graves, right? Where she can play for Pryo, play for setup, skirmish with these champions, provide, you know, set up a lot of mobility and security for these champions that want to get through the early game. Um, so yeah, I think LeBlanc is going to be quite happy after this patch, even if though she's getting a bit nerfed. Um, Alright, similar thing to Lilia, and this shows a bit easier because here you see that the damage what the damage cap used to be and this is quite a big change i would say i would assume this is based on level so later on in the game it's going to be a bit bigger um yeah i mean it nerfs the clear for sure it doesn't nerf it like massively i would say but it does nerf it for sure um but similar thing as before it's like they're buffing yeah they're really trying to switch up the meta which I'm happy for at least. And does this nerf Lilia? Yes, I think she's still gonna be good though. I will say that in, in the spots where Lilia is a good champion, she's still gonna be good. Alright, Lissandra. Q is getting buffed later on in the game. And her slow ult is also getting buffed but early in the game. Um, Yeah, similar thing. It's just getting buffed. They're trying to shift the meta. It's quite nice to see. Um, potentially, if people are planning on picking Kindred Graves together with a champion like LeBlanc, Lissona could be a pretty good counter to that. Alright, Pike. Armor is getting nerfed by 4, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know why Pike is getting nerfed, to be honest. Pike is not a champion that is very popular in pro play, because he's so risky to play. And I think in solo queue, he's popular, but he's not OP or anything. He's just less reliable than other engaged champions. His champion is designed to stomp in the early game to make sure that you get an advantage for later on in the game. And if you can't stomp in the early game, then the champion is just bad. That's the truth. Um, and I don't think nerfing his armor makes much sense. I don't think it's a massive nerf, but I do think... I mean, it's obviously a nerf, uh, but I don't think it makes much sense because I think it just rewards good pike players less, in a sense. And I think this is a champion that should be really rewarding if you are good on it, which he already kind of lacks in higher yield. All right, Rumble. Rumble got nerfed the last patch. Let's see this passive, five to 40 based on level 25, 6%. It's now nerfed to 5% target max health. It's not a massive nerf, I'll be honest. It's I mean, it's a decent nerf. You, let's say you can get 4 autos off. That's 4% max health. But it's not a massive nerf, I will say. Um, yeah, still a decent champion. Alright, Rice. This is a huge buff from what I saw earlier. So let's see here. 
Um, Q is up by 5 damage on every level, and his ult is down by 30. So it's not a completely crazy massive buff, but 5 damage in the early game for a champion that really spams his abilities is quite strong. Uh, because even in one combo in a skirmish, Ryze will easily get out 3 Qs. That's 15 damage. And then, well, he's not only going to get one combo off, most likely, he's probably going to get 5, 6 Qs off. Also, this is going to help with his push more, which is something Ryze really wants to play with. And on top of that, his ult cooldown makes sure that he can roam more. Right now, Ryze is a champion that struggles a bit later on in the game, because he gets outranged by a lot of champions. Um... And he doesn't deal very well with zone control. So you really want to use him in the early game. And playing into ADCs, Ryze can't really play in the early game, right? Um, because he's not going to get push. But if he has more damage on the wave and these ADCs are getting nerfed like they are, then he can just press his abilities on the wave, one-tap it, and start roaming around and playing with his jungler, right? Which is what the champion wants to do. This is a good buff. And I hope Ryze could see more play. Because I already don't think he's very bad if, well, it's a different meta in mid lane, which presumably we're gonna have soon and rice is another champion that works really well with graves and kindred so yeah let's hopefully this means good things for us all right senna q heal decrease or shield ap ratio decrease so senna has been extremely op i think i've heard people say they think it's really bad i think it's super op uh he'll nerf by five every level up um 20 ap scaling uh, quite a big nerf, I would say, and shield is down from 70 to 50% AP. Um, do I think it's a big nerf? Yes. Do I think it's a discern nerf? Also, yes. Maybe a bit too big. Um, but yeah, we'll see, I guess. I just think Senna has been extremely OP. Um, every time I see it, it just feels very obnoxious to play against, and it feels really good to play with. So yeah. Do I think? Yeah, I just think it's a discern nerf. We haven't seen it much in pro play, so it's hard to say that, but yeah. Alright, Seraphine, W, decree, shielding, decrease the cooldown, increase at higher ranks. So, W is just flat out nerfed, and this is just mainly nerfing support Seraphine. Um, I think Seraphine's worst role before has always been support. Her best roles have been ADC, then mid lane. Um, but lately that has not really been the case. Um, and... I think she's better designed as not a support personally, because then I don't see what role she's fiddling in the game compared to something like a Sona or a Soraka. Um, they do very similar things, except especially Seraphine and Sona, I would say. Um, so balancing her more around being an ADC, I would say, or a mid laner, makes a lot more sense to me. I would probably personally even nerf these numbers even more, maybe buff her scalings or something like this because I think it just makes more sense on the champion but I think this is a good start alright Silas, magic damage on W down AP ratio I don't think Silas is an OP champion I think he's been quite a bad champion for quite a while now and it's hard to find spots for him so it's a bit sad to see him getting nerfed I don't have much else to say about that I don't think it's a great champion at the moment I think he's a very fun champion to watch I think he has his spots, he's always gonna have his spots because well Silas is a champion that is a heavy counter pick tool um, with his ult. But yeah, I just don't think it's that great at the moment, so I don't understand why he's getting nerfed. Alright. TFQ damage increased. Um, later on, his damage is increased, or his flat damage is increased by 20. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good, good buff for sure for mid lane TF. I don't think it matters too much for top lane TF. Uh, but for mid lane TF, it's a decent buff. It's always scary when they buff this champion because a slight buff to this champion tips him from being on quite the low scale of being quite bad to really OP because his kit is really OP. So when his kit has the numbers to actually support him, then he becomes super OP. Um, so yeah, it's scary whenever the champion gets a buff. Do I think this is a massive buff? No. Do I think it might change? Well, I'm not sure if it like changes something about like... Okay, if he one-taps backline creeps, for example, um, now that he doesn't have Dematerializer, maybe this could cover up for it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's hard to say, and, well, someone who plays TF more could tell me in the comments. Alright, Q damage increase, E damage increased on virus. I, I Can they please just... Well, whatever. We'll read the changes first. Um, max damage is up by a lot of base damage. But it's changed from total AD to bonus AD. Um, it's hard to say how big this buff is, in a sense. To be honest. 
yeah, uh, it's not very easy. Like, it's 75 here, but it's like, change the bonus AD, as I said. Um, so it's probably not that big of a change in early game, but maybe later on, minimum damage still two thirds of maximum damage, okay. Um, e hail of arrows, damage is just up, flat out. I will say this. I I really wish they just leave the Varus champion for a second. Because Varus is a champion that always hovers around in pro play. Because his kit is really good for pro play. His kit is very flexible. You can go on hit. You can go, well, nowadays tank. You can go, well, lethality, obviously, poke Varus, um, etc, etc. And he always hovers around. He has great utility. He has a great lane phase. He always gets push. Um... And I'm just tired of seeing it, to be honest. Every patch is just Varus. Can we please just have the champion being gutted for like at least one patch? Just don't leave him there. Don't include him in the patch note. I don't want him buffed. I'll be honest. I don't want him buffed. Is it a good buff for him though? Yeah. I think top lane Varus though, I would say, is already a good pick. And that's the last thing I want to be facing right now. Top lane Varus is one of the most obnoxious things in the game. And I really wish they would nerf that build before they buffed his other, other builds, because I just think it gives him more spots to be flexed around, and I just don't think top lane virus is healthy for the game, to be honest. Alright, next up. Items. Warmogs is getting nerfed, thank, thank the lord. Honestly. 200 gold, up cost, and movement speed nerfed by 5%. Thank you, Riot. Next up, remove this item from the game. Anyways. Now, I mean, it's not a super big nerf, I will say. Um, it's a nerf for champions that want to rush it, mainly. Especially for support. Um, and low resource jungles, I would say. So, it's a huge nerf for, like, Leona, Rel, etc. Um, yeah, and this item has just been dominating, especially in pro play. Um, it would be quite nice to see it gone from the meta, to be honest. For a while, at least. Because it has been really OP and everyone's been rushing it, and it kind of cheats the game, in a sense. Alright, slow... Celestial has grown to be dominant, blah blah blah. Okay, so they're nerfing the slow from 60% to 50 to 2 from 1. I still think it's gonna be a good... It's still gonna be a good item for sure. Alright, Absorb Life is getting completely gutted again. So level 1 to 5... Uh, instead of being 1 to 5 healing, you get 1 to 2, which is completely ridiculous. Um, 6 to 10, it's gonna be 3 to 7. So, at level 10, you're gonna have ish the same healing as you did before at level 7. Alright, and then 12 to 23, 8 to 23. This is not a scaling rule. I do not care that these two numbers are the same. What matters is that this number and this number are completely gutted. The fact that you heal 3 HP on level 6 with a rune when you kill a minion, this means 18 HP in a wave. Do you understand how little healing that is? Now, Precision Tree is quite strong, don't get me wrong. Absorb Life has been good. Presence of Mind is really good. Legend Haste or Alacrity, both really good bloodline as well for that matter. Cutdown is a fucking fantastic rune. So, should Precision Tree be nerfed? 100%. Do I think they should nerf Absorb Life again? I don't understand why they added this rune to the game if they wa don't want the rune to be a thing you can actually pick. Because this, to me, doesn't seem to give any value. 3 HP. 18 HP on a wave. You might as well go second wind. Honestly, you might as well go second wind or, or like, demolish or something. Every single game. Because you're just going to get more healing from second wind, even if you only trade with it once. Per wave. You trade one out attack per wave, you're going to get more healing than you're going to get from Absorb Life in the entire wave. And this is in already coming approaching the mid-game. I don't know, it's so insane to me. I think this rune is completely garbage now. Alright, cut down. Damage threshold. Above 50% max health, above 60%. This is an OP rune. It's good that they're nerfing it. I still think it's OP. Um, yeah. Fleet footwork movement speed. Um, from 20% for 1.25 seconds to 50% for 1 second. This is quite big. Um, and the heal is also down later on in the game. Um, I would say that this is quite a big nerf for champions that want to pick... Or like, 
it kind of tips over the fact that if you wouldn't normally take fleet footwork or you would consider fleet or something else, you would probably not go fleet anymore. What do I mean by this? So, for example, on Aurora, you just go electrocute now. Um, yeah, whatever champion else you might be playing where you're considering between fleet, like maybe an ADC, something like this. Because the movement speed is a big reason why you go this. That's quite nerfed already now. And the healing later on in the game isn't that crazy, so it's fine. But yeah, so if but if your champion is something that relies on fleet footwork already, um, for the healing or whatever, maybe um, let's say Nar or Caitlyn, something like this, still play fleet and you're gonna be fine. I think it's not a huge nerf, but it is nice that they're nerfing it because right now it's being really played by champions that normally wouldn't play it. For example, Jace, Camille, uh, Jax, these kind of champions, right? Especially in top lane, right? And these are not champions I personally want to see playing. Them. Because I don't think this rune is designed for those champions. So it's good that they're nerfing it. Um, Aram Clash, blah, blah, blah. Alright, that seems to be it. So, main things for me to look out for on this patch is Graves, Kindred, and Rice. Um, LeBlanc as well, even though she's getting nerfed. And maybe Lissandra as a counter pick, right? All of these seems to be getting buffed. Of course, I did forget to mention that Twisted Fate, similarly to Rice and Lissandra and LeBlanc, all work, it also works really well with Graves Kindred, so he could be something to look out for. Um, yeah, and also the Warmog's nerf, thank god for that. Um, and I hope to see a bit of a s switch up in the mid-jungle meta department, because it has been very stale for a very long time now. Alright, anyways guys, I will be heading off. If you have any feedback on this or any questions in the comments, please leave them below. Um, yeah, subscribe and like if you haven't already. And I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.